いこと思いついてしまったわ。今の私は悪い子で、自由なの。さあみんな、ついてきてくださいな。はあ、休憩休憩っと。どうして私がこんなめんどくさいことを。なんで皆さんそんなにやる気あるんですかうーんカーマ殿ささお早くはっ相が高ぶっているまさかま人類史最高峰の繁栄都市と聞いてはいささかの興味も湧くというものアビゲイル・ウィリアムズ殿悪い子の作法を一つお伝えいたしましょうぞ。<laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back for some more Let's Play Fate Grand Order. So, we are in the midst of the Lost Belt 2 free interludes, and honestly, not far away from that Sea Monster Crisis event. That is coming up pretty soon. Or rather, Water Monster Crisis. What's the difference? Between a sea monster and a water monster? The answer is salt, I think. Pretty much. That'd be it. Anyways,、uh, let us go and do some of these. Also, claim our daily login rewards. Those are very important. Yes, water monster. Yes, we'll be doing that there. Okay. I've had comments that were very much like you. Oh, that's nice. I had comments that were like, you need to do the interlude for、um, for Scotty. That it is very important. I will. But first, I want to do these two guys. We got to give the dude bros some love, right? And we did、uh, Burnhill last time. And let's do her lover with Sigurd. With neither mass nor shape yet real. Really? You're. Huh. Okay. Will it be a Lancer regardless, or I don't know? Every now and then they throw you a curveball with these new ones where there's some actual gimmick in place, you know? My inner fire continues to burn. It scorches my body, singes my heart, sears my passion, and sublimates my bliss. Even after all this time, my flames show not a si single sign of deterioration. I think. Wait. Wait. Or is this meant to be Burnhild? I'm gonna stick with him because it should be his, but we'll see. They reject the cold and melt any ice or snow that draws near. Even now, this power that lies within me burns as fiercely as ever. Yes. Even now. I, that could also, because we were dealing with the flames before with, with Burnhild, so we'll see. Stew's ready, Sigurd. It's just as you like it, full of squirrels. You're too kind, Master. Well, we servants have no need for sustenance. I would be happy to partake if there is enough to go around. Oh, yes, there's plenty. So much, you'd be doing us a favor by helping us eat it. You know, we don't like to. Put leftovers containers in the shields right where Fu is. He gets cramped. Fu Fu! Yes, I do! I'm so sorry. I always seem to end up making enough to feed a whole family when it's my turn to cook. I'm sure it'd be great if there were a large number of us camping out, but when it's only a few of us, I always feel like I'm being careless and wasteful. Ah,、uh, the important thing is your food is delish, or should I say divine? And when I say divine, I mean. Hey, I just. I just thought of something. So, like. The, the Catholic Church in the Fate world, they, like. They know there's other gods, right? So, like. I was gonna say, like, it's divine, but you know, the one true God. Um, but, like, how can you reconcile? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, well, thank you, Master. I'm glad to hear that. We cooks can always use more positive feedback. This food is somehow heartwarming. Is this what home cooking usually tastes like? I'm not sure. This is usually what meals were like back when I cooked for my own family. 
but I don't know if that alone qualifies it as home cooking. Still, as long as the food is hot and nutritious and everyone can relax and be themselves while they eat it, I think that's all you need. I see, I see. I ask because, as something of an older hero myself, I tend to forget what home cooking was like. You do? I mean, bro, you're kind of kitted up in cyber gear, but... I do. You see... Well, my mother was raising me. Stop that. Didn't your mother teach you not to, with your, to talk with your mouth... Uh, talk with your mouth full? A great hero should be setting a much better example. <laughs> yes, you're right. My apologies. Now he's savoring every bite. Well, that doesn't mean we have to eat in complete silence either. I'm happy to talk during meals as long as we don't do so while chewing. Oh, good point. My father, the great warrior Sigmund, died in battle when I was still a baby. I see. I'm sorry for your loss. You know, Martha, it's actually rare for any servants to not have dead parents. It's a surprise when we have one that's not. Fortunately, I was not yet a... Sorry, I read this sentence ahead of time. What the frick? Fortunately, I was not yet of fighting age, or you may have given me a baby battle instead of a baby bottle. What the frick? Was that a joke? Are you trying to make a giggle? <laughs> Why would you say such a thing? It doesn't even make sense. Never mind. Let's just forget that last part. <laughs> All right, no. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Wait, wait. He's kind of me IRL. Wait, that's what I do. No, literally. I Okay, wait, hold up. This is me. I will come up with a joke. And I will try to find a way to say it, no matter what. Oh, wait. No, wait, that's me. Okay, never mind. Forgive me. Once I get a joke in my head, I simply cannot stop myself from saying it. Even my beloved has told me less is more when it comes to my attempts at humor. No, see, I, I like the shotgun method of humor. You just kind of spray and pray the, to the one true god, of course, that one of them hits, you know? At any rate, after my father's death, my mother took a new husband and a blacksmith friend of the family was entrusted with my care. And that was... Um... Reg Regen? Regan? I don't remember that. What was the blacksmith like? I don't know who that is. The... It, there was a chance that he was in one of the Lost Belts, and I just completely forgot. Was he in Lost Belt 2? He might have been, I forgot. His name was Regan, and he raised me as though I were his own son. Was he strict? Of course. He had to be, to ensure I would grow up to be a hero. Thus, I was trained to be a hero from a very young age. I was taught swordsmanship. Spear handling, archery, axe theory. I learned how to fight with every weapon under the sun, and I still hungered greedily for even more knowledge. My curriculum also included mandatory physical training. From sunrise to sunset, I would run non-stop across the plains without disturbing so much as a blade of grass. Well, that's pretty easy considering it's mostly snow. I learned how to hunt beasts, how to incapacitate people. I mastered ways to defeat soldiers, warriors, and heroes. I would have to fight on equal ground against those of more demonic natures. My training began practically the day I was born. As long as I can remember, I knew I was destined to become a hero, and I had made my peace with it. But despite what you might think, I did not think of it as a burden. No. On second thought, I suppose I did. The words were out of my mouth before I knew what I was saying. I see. I don't blame you. I can only imagine how hard that must have been. Though I am surprised to hear you say that, Sigurd. You always seem like the type to keep those kinds of thoughts to yourself. True. I suppose I usually am. But in this case, I thought that with my beloved elsewhere, and only a few comrades in arms I entrust with my life here- Oh, that's why we have a- That's why the opponent is a lancer. I could permit myself a- moment of vulnerability and share how I truly feel. Ahem! Well, go on then. Keep eating. 
The food's certainly not getting warmer any warmer after all. He caught Martha completely off guard. What what did I just say? But still, can you blame me? I think anyone would be touched to be trusted so implicitly by someone from such a different time and place. <sighs> I do apologize if I embarrassed you. At any rate, I can scarcely imagine how hard that kind of life must have been for you. But if nothing else, I can certainly pray for you. Consider it a sign of respect for the conviction that helped you get through those hard times, become the hero you are today. And, and maybe one day you'll learn that there is only one God, and all of yours are worthless idols. You may well be right, Lady Martha. Except the worthless idols part. It was the gift. <laughs> it's funny, because, like, we... We freaking have Odin with us. He's, well, kind of. He's kind of with us. It was a difficult time in my life, to be sure. But since I would not be here today had I not experienced it, I can look back on it fondly. That being said, if I were to encounter Regan now, I have no doubt I would punch him right in his face again. Foo foo! <laughs> Indeed, small creature. But we are on the subject. I will not normally tell you this next part, but since it's already part of my legend, I see no reason to refrain. Unfortunately, Regan deceived me. He planned to make off with the evil dragon's treasure after I slew it. Even if it meant killing me to get me out of his way. Oh gosh, that's... terrible. Indeed. But, by then, it was no match for me and I quickly turned the tables on him. I, uh... I see. You're very proud of that, aren't you? Of course. I've never thought of myself as a righteous hero. But surely, anyone who would stoop so low as to stab a child he raised in the back must be irredeemably evil. So I think my killing him in retaliation must therefore have been a righteous act. She's gonna be like, You know what they say, an eye for the eye makes the whole world go blind. Yes, you do have a point. There certainly isn't much good to say about a man who would betray his charge for riches. Do you hate Regan for what he did to you, Sigurd? No, I don't think so. I don't have much love for him now, but I wouldn't say I especially hate him either. No, I don't hate him, but it did pain me that things turned out how they did. If nothing else, I do owe him a, da a debt of gratitude for his work raising me to become the hero I became. And above all, I would never have met my beloved had me had he not set me on that path. Those goes to show there's a thin line between good fortune and bad fortune. Don't you think you're being a little overly optimistic? <clears throat> now that you mention it. Oh, come now. Surely there's no need to be that shocked about it. Just that I'm usually so straight-laced that no one has ever called me optimistic before. I never even realized it until now. I see. So I'm an optimist. <sighs> Arguably, one of the best parts of being a servant is getting to better understand who we are even after we die. Now that you know you're an optimist, you should work on polishing your optimistic nature. I see. From where I stand, it appears you are also an optimist, Lady Martha. For it is through your heart of iron wrapped in gentle mercy that you bring hope to people everywhere. Oh, now that you mention it, I... I suppose I probably am an optimist, but that's okay. I think it's better to be, uh, ooh, I think it's better to be an incurable optimist than to bemoan the state of the world without doing anything to improve it, especially on Twitter.com. With that attitude, it's a little wonder you became a saint. My mask or, well, hat is off to you. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing hearing you praise me like that. Is this going to be that Brynhild's going to be like, who you flirting with, honey? Thank you once again for the meal, O oh Lord. Was that a Christian, like, like you have Itadaki Moss, and then you have the, 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 the second one, which I forget, the thank you for the meal? Was that a Christian version of that? At any rate, I'm still wondering if there truly is an evil dragon in the singularity. What do you make of it, Sieg? Oh, I've been here the whole time, but I've been too quiet and nervous to say anything, I guess. I was wondering, I'm like, we have two dragon slayers, will there be more? They're definitely the same species as me. Well, that might not entirely be accurate. But whatever species they are, I can definitely sense them here. Also, on a completely different subject, that stew was delicious, Martha. Thank you, Sieg. I made sure to season your bowl extra strong. 
I appreciate that. My tongue isn't as sensitive as humans, so I need strong flavors just to taste anything at all. Ah, oh, this really is delicious. I'm glad to hear that. Alright, once you're done with dinner, we'll get back to searching. And this time, I'm gonna find those dragons and take care of them once and for all. And by take care of, I mean confront them and lay them to mercy, rest with mercy and prayer. Lead the way, Miss Iron Fist. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm a rider. A rider devoted solely, solely to healing others. Why is she upset? Does she not like being called Miss? All right then, shall we uh, get going? I was kind of hoping for seconds. Don't worry, Master. If you like my stew that much? I'd be happy to make another pot for you after we get back. Could I partake in this new pot of stew as well? Well, of course. Like I said, I always make too much anyway. When it comes to cooking for large groups, I dare say I could even give a give Cat a run for her money. I'm mixed. I'm gonna be waiting for his next stupid joke. Wait. I feel like this is Burnhild. Because he does smile a lot. Let me just read it neutrally. I don't smile. I can't smile. I don't need to smile. I don't get angry. I can't get angry. I don't need to be angry. I don't get sad. I can't get sad. I don't need to get sad. Nor do I particularly wish for happiness. Oh no, here we go. The blacksmith who raised me said that I was fine. He said that I was a weapon, a blade, a guardian meant to protect those who can't protect themselves. He also said if I was going to be a hero, I shouldn't try to develop a personality of my own, as doing so would only end in tragedy one day. Those words stung. I couldn't deny that there was a hint of truth to them. If one were to assemble a group of one million people, ten thousand of them would no doubt be well above average. I say that from those 10,000 of the hundred of the very best were chosen, that would mean that there were no fewer than a hundred people who excelled in every possible way, mental, physical, and spiritual alike. Among those hundred, there is one truly exceptional being. Alex Ozymandias, apparently. They may be descended from gods, bring miracles to life, have wills like solid steel, or possess inhuman power. Interesting choices, those ones. Those beings are called heroes. They are birthed by the tides of history and cultivated by their, by the passions of their fellows. I expect that I too am one of them. As long as this power of mine can be of use to the world, I have no qualms about materializing and wielding my sword. But then there is also something else. An itch that is somehow indescribably pleasant. Something about it feels nearly dreamlike. It's almost as if... Sigurd! Oh, it's a Raffian. What happened? How could a warrior of your caliber become so distracted? Were you so nice and full from that delicious meal that you got sleepy or something? No, nothing like that. Uh, forgive me. I was simply a bit lost in thought. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried you had been hit with some sort of mental attack. So in that case, I'm impressed you can afford to get lost in thought while we face such a fearsome opponent. I'm sorry. Uh, rest assured, I'll do everything I can to allay your concerns starting right now. What are your orders, Master? Um... Huh. Yeah, he's feeling out of it. Back him up. Leave it to me, I'll make sure to heal every injury sustained, down to the slightest scratch. I'll cover you with my noble phantasm. Then I'll lead the charge against this beast, let's go. Interesting, will this determine, like, am I going to be set with a set team because I picked that option? Formation limited, yeah, huh. Alright. Oh. Wait, let's see here. Wait, hold up, if I go like... Yeah, we just grab, for example... You... We set Sigurd as a starting member. Okay. Oh, yeah. Cool, cool. Okay, that's actually kind of neat. You know what? Let's go with Team Story. This could be fun. Let's go with Team Story. We could do that. Um, let's go... Right. I mean, how often are we going to use the Dragon Slayers like this, right? Uh, you... 
Okay, wait, yeah, go back. Okay, let's go with... Uh, let's see here. You're, you're not stronger, actually. Never mind. I'll just grab you just because I like your your thing. I'll give that to you. I'll give. Let's go with uh, you, and we'll give you. Sure, just to make our life easier. And uh, heck, heck, what the heck? Let's get some more dragon slayers in here just for the heck of it. Let's go with, uh, I don't know, who else is a dragon slayer we got? Anti-dragon. I'm not sure off the top of me, Noggin. Um, oh, Jorgeos! Jorgeos, indeed. And Jorgeos gets his camera. Alright. And, uh, I mean, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll win with this. Alright. Let's go. Sounds good. Bit of a fun, fun little gimmick encounter. This is one thing I like about these. Is the, is the ability to just be like, yeah, let's do like some weird groupings and stuff, right? You get story, you getting, you know, set encounters. It's good. Multiple dragons. Oh, geez. Okay, didn't expect that. Dragon killer heading out. Leave it to us. HP recovery burn buster up. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, indeed. Um, let's hold off on getting stars. So let's just go one, two, three. Do stuff. Yeah, grabbing them was the smart move, huh? Yeah. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen two dragons out like this, honestly. I don't think I've, that's ever been a thing that is I've seen. Uh, let's go... Because you, you have a thing to boost yours. Okay. Alright. Uh-huh. We're fine. We'll be fine. Okay. Let's go blue. This. Strength of versus dragon. Artificial hero fake. Uh, you have crit strength. Don't need that. Uh, buster up. Sure. And... Uh, don't need that. Pop a heal on us. Pop a defense down. Right. All right. Let's go. Uh, yeah, let's do as much damage as possible and then do this. All right. Let's see here. Big damage. And hopefully we keep those buffs. Ah, doesn't look like it. All right, I gotta talk over this because it plays me. Uh, you know, this one has such a long intro. I don't actually have to worry about the music. Like by the time it gets started, it, the noble phantasm is too loud, and it doesn't matter. Okay. All right. Oof. Okay. Okay. You know, we're actually we're having a little bit of a tricky time. Right, a little bit. Um. It's not going to help much. Just do your best. We might not kill him before he pops off his super dragon breath. Okay. We got nothing we can do except hope and pray. I mean, he'll survive because he has guts and a bunch of stuff there. Yeah, like that did nothing to him. You guys are fine. You guys are fine. All right. I don't even need to pop a thing with him. Meanwhile, his alternate universe counterpart appears. All right, do your stuff. I should give. There we go. We can finish this next turn. Okay. Finish this off. Okay. Let's 
その身で破壊を巻き起こせベルベルクグラム That's a pretty solid noble phantasm. I think, in, in theory, it's really cool. I kind of wish it went a little harder, you know? I kind of do wish it went a little bit more extreme. Just, just a smidge. There we go. All creatures have been destroyed, Master. Great work, Team Dragon Slayers. Thank you. Don't let your guard down just yet. We still haven't finished repairing the Singularity. And Sigurd, I think you still owe us an explanation for why you spaced out in the middle of battle. Oh, yes, I suppose I do. Letting your mind wander in the heat of battle is inexcusable. Well, still. I got careless. I'm sorry. It's okay. These things happen. I'm surprised. I never thought I'd see the day when you of all people slipped up. I was kind of surprised, too. <sighs> Fortunately, we were... Able to re cover for your mistake this time, but we might not be so lucky next time. Still, whatever's going on, if you believe you can figure it out on your own, please make sure you do so. I will. Don't worry. It won't happen again. Is something wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Just my imagination. Though for a moment there, it really did look to me like he was enjoying himself. Oh? I'm sensing more dragon kin a little further ahead. Can you tell how many there are? More than one. There are lots of small ones, two medium-sized ones, and one big one. Based on everything I've sensed so far, I'm guessing the small ones are wyverns, the medium ones are dragons, and the big one is a Fafnir. A Fafnir. Bit weird. But I guess we fought enough Fafnirs in multiple worlds that now we just say, yeah, that's a Fafnir. Then perhaps the Singularity will go away once we take care of them? I think it probably will, yes. Of course, it's easier said than done. These evil Fafnir dragons are always formidable foes I prefer to avoid, no matter how many times I face them. Indeed. Come to think of it, Siegfried says he doesn't remember anything about his own battle against Fafnir. He says even a single battle with stakes as high as those where even one mistake can lead to your death is enough to drive a person to insanity. And since his went on for so long, he no longer has any recollection of how he managed to come out on top. It's true. That sort of thing is quite common in fiercely fought battles. Well, I also remember that I won my battle against Fafnir. I couldn't tell you how I did so. Much as I wish I could. Well, I assume you at least used that sword against it. That much is certain, yes. Still, it's strange. I'm still remembered as a heroic dragon slayer to this day, though it's been a staggeringly long time since I accomplished that feat. But right now, I think I remember my ordinary life much more than I do that fearsome battle. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. Now you really aren't sounding like yourself. Of course it's a good thing, Sigurd. Of that, I have no doubt. Well, I hope you're right. Maybe the same will be true for this journey to save humanity as well. I remember the ordinary days far better than I will my battles. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's probably a good thing. Do you think so, Master? I see. That's very reassuring. I might just be imagining things, but I'm sensing there are even more creatures in the cave up ahead now than there were earlier. Well, that's not good. They must be birthing more to increase their numbers. The out comes Hojo from Final Fantasy VII. Did somebody say birthing? It's like, not now, Hojo. You freak. That can't be right. How could they possibly grow up so fast? Anything's possible in a singularity. They may be close to a powerful ley line, but they may have attained the power of a holy grail. Either way, the sooner we eliminate the threat, the better. Roger Dodger. All right. God, it's you you don't remember how long these new ones are. Like we're a half hour in and we've done one single nerd. Oh my god, we're doing another one? Okay. Huh. Okay. Another question mark, another choice.
I like how it's, it's so clearly a recolor. Yikes, they're absolutely everywhere. It's just like what happened in Orleans. We need to hurry or they'll start reproducing faster than we can eradicate them. Master. Uh, we're counting on you to tip the scales of the big ones, Sigurd. Let's start by taking care of many of the small ones as we can. Well, let's go after the small ones first. Understood. Indeed, we must do something about the dragonkin first and foremost. Yeah, stop them from growing up. Because if they grow up, that's bad. Anyways, uh, are we going to be stuck to needing them again? We are. So you know what? Just for the sake of making things easier, uh, I'm going to go with Mix. I'm going to grab some of the strongest servants we have. Uh, sure. You're Wow, how strong are you? So you're just starting member, okay. And uh, you know what? Heck. What to heck? Let's just be crazy and go with team break the game. Where you at? Where you at? There you at. Okay. Uh, sh you know what? Let's actually put you there. And what I'm going to actually do. Here's what I'm actually going to do. If these are going to be baby Babu dragons, there's a simple solution how to deal with them first and foremost. We're going to go with uh, you. Where's our death success up heck yeah baby and then we can just bring you out of here if need be okay no wrong one there we go the cool one all right sounds good let's go right use them to take on the low waves then bring them back i wonder if we're gonna get um interludes that use the six enemies again god what a cool system that god i want to see more use out of never mind it's a big one all right well that's not great um for now okay let's just start on getting you some 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 attacks here then wow i thought she was gonna say mosh mosh again well, hopefully that gives us a full secret combo next turn. Okay, let's see here. We do good. Okay. Let's hope we hit that crit. We did not. Second crit? Nope. We would have won if we didn't if we hit that one. Alright, a little bit left. Okay. I like never use this color, so it's kind of weird to see. Just another one? Okay, well, there goes my plan. In fact, let's just do... Let's just deal with you. Because that's annoying. How we do? Oh, we didn't do... We did too much. We couldn't loop. We couldn't get that back. Alright, Fatal Battle 3 of 3. There we go. See, we got some little baby wyverns. This I made a good move because then we can just wipe you out. Yeah, this is good. Um, what happens on death? Decrease attack. I made the right choice. All right. Um, let's go. I should try and get you meter first. So let's go. Cause you're buffed here. Yeah, let's use that. And let's go. Let's go. One, two, three. And then we could do another one after that. Unless we just kill him. It's not gonna happen. Oh yeah, he's defensive. Okay, 90. That should give us enough if you get hit. Dang it. Okay, well, you know what? Heck, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go switch. 
you two. Okay. Do death up. Use this. And we're gonna go one, two, three. Oh, we I just realized how much HP we did. It's not gonna take much longer to do that again. That death. Contagious fear. What a what a good name actually. Nice. And she can just give herself a hundred percent next time. Dragon Spirit. We've got wyverns. Up that. Actually, you know we could probably do this real quickly. Let's go. Uh, one, two. Actually, yeah, let's do that, and then we'll just finish with uh, with this here, hopefully. Wipe them out, more defense down, and then we do them. Nice, I love how easy those deaths hit. Oh, bro's gonna get so heckin' destroyed. Check this. This is gonna deal so much. How much was that? Sheesh! We still got these guys to deal with. Okay. I don't think it expected us to do that. Yes, yeah, do this. Did not kill in one. Okay, I thought it would. Okay. Yeah, no one left. It'd be mad funny if Bro was just like, Yikes, no, I've got the Contagious Sphere and just books it out of there. We got literally nothing we can do besides this. Are you gonna Mosh Mosh one more time? Nope. Okay. Big Freed, Siegfried. All right, let's do this. Okay, let's go. Oh, so close. Oh, bro got one more in. Wait. I was going to say, will Georgios come in and sweep? But no, I forgot we have Ash start here. All right. No, no, no one left to pick that up, brother. Alright. I don't know if that was the easier one or the harder one, but I feel like picking the ones with the full team just makes more sense. Now, my demonic sword is complete. My ultimate technique is ready. The time of your demise is at hand. Bulverker Graham! Tried my best with that one. Oh, there he goes. We did it. The enemy's completely vanished. Good. Booyah! Um, wonderful job, everyone. It shouldn't be long before the singularity repairs itself now. Uh, Tanner, I mean, uh, Master. Shall we? Hell yeah, we shall! God, I love Fujimaru's kind of silly character. Oh. Woo! Woo! <laughs> what was that? It's called a high five. In Japan, they call it a high touch for some reason. I'm no expert. Apparently, it's some kind of ritual you do once a job is complete. Huh. But I think I'll do the same. Woo! 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 This is nice. Great work today, everyone. Let's head back now, shall we? Way to go, guys! Thank you.
Is that actually it? Strangely, I've found myself smiling much more ever since coming to Caldia. I can't yet tell if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Heroes aren't supposed to smile to themselves. They're supposed to protect others' smiles. I don't remember if Regen told me that, or if I said it myself. But either way, the environment I'm in now is like nothing I could have imagined back when I was still alive. As a result, I think that maybe... I may have grown a little weaker. But weakness is a good thing, right? Because then it means that there's that there's proof that that society is 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 going fine. Maybe I don't know. Saber, are you gonna fight yourself? What? Oh no. Okay. All right. As long as I don't have a set team, and it's uh, as long as it's not a puzzle, as long as I can use my my super crazy archers. So please, uh, give it to me straight, Master. Do you think I've gotten weaker? Um, if this is you weak, I can't imagine what strong looks like. It's true. We would have had a much more difficult time against Fafnir without your help. There you have it, Lord Sigurd. And I too can vouch you are still as strong as ever. Tell us, why would you think otherwise? Well, for one, the fact that I let my guard down on the battlefield. But more significantly, it's the fact that I was once able to defeat Fafnir on my own. Yet this time, I was unable to do so without assistance from other servants. The only explanation I could think of was that I must have grown weaker. True, there are definitely cases where we servants are weaker now than we were when we were alive. For example, as a saber, I can no longer use my Tarnkape. I don't know what that is. In a vacuum, one would indeed conclude that we have grown weaker. I knew it. However, it might sound contradictory, but I'm also certain I don't feel any weaker than I did when I was still alive. And the reason for that is our master. Well, him and the other companions alongside whom we fought. While these kinds of circumstances would co never come about during an ordinary Holy Grail War, they allow us to draw on his power. I see. Yes, you're right. Thank you, Lord Siegfried. How can I repay you for your help? If you'd like to repay me, you could do so by sparring with a couple people I know. Oh. <laughs> In fact, the sparring session... Might just help you truly understand what I mean. Huh? Good day. My name is Sigurd, and I'll be your sparring partner today. Oh! Hell yeah! Siegfried told me all about you. This ought to get me one step close to being a bona fide sword master. I'm a caster, not a saber, but... I still tend to get involved in a lot of sword fights, so I think this sparring session will be extremely educational for me. <laughs> is something wrong, Sigurd? Oh, sorry. Not to worry, everything is fine. Now, shall we get started? I'm gonna fight on their side, okay? Understood. Then let us begin! Cool. Uh, I don't have to use you guys, right? Or... Wait, it's- oh wait, wait, it's a cutscene? You're fast, but your strokes are all over the place. It's natural to hesitate at times when using multiple weapons, so your first step is to make choosing which one to use as natural as breathing. Oh, uh, gotcha! You're mine. Boy, it is mad temporary for you, huh? Oh, jeez! just punched him in the in the spleen. You're still overly reliant on Lord Siegfried's sheer strength. I can understand why you'd be in a hurry to end the fight, since so you can only transform for a moment. But there's no need to rush. So have plenty of breathing room to use that technique. Right. Yeah. Huh. You're not hesitating, but that's made your attack patterns too simplistic. An effective combat strategy relies on a mixture of both truth and lies. I want you to come up with at least three options for attacking your opponent at any given time. Well, yeah, I said, that sounds way too complicated for me. If it helps, you could try thinking of these options as conditional reflexes. 
Perhaps you could try assigning numbers to each move. For example, four, seven, two, five. Think of it like a fighting game. Could be something like that. Easy, right? I think we still have a long way to go before we can. I can even start thinking like that. Huh? Or oh? Huh? Well, there's nothing wrong with associating them with something else either. Well, yeah. Uh, it, in that case, do you think I could think of uh, try to think of them as Peyton Seagard? I'm, I'm just starting to get the faintest uh, picture of how it could work here. But I'm definitely way more familiar with Peyton's than I am numbers. In that case, I'll try to think of my techniques as servant classes. Sounds fine to me. All right, Seagy. What do you say we do this thing? I'll go first. Seagy? Well, all right, but I'll be going right after you. Come on, let's do it. That's it. Show me what you've got. Is it going to be like a, a an actual like super puzzle battle of like using things at certain times? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I'm going to do... Sure. Sure. I don't know. I don't know what's the best one for this. We'll see. Are you actually going to give us directions? Because if so, that might work, but... Oh, frick, what are we doing? Going with Berserker. Attack up defense on Yoshiwari Night Scene. Seven turns. Are you freaking serious? You have a you have a, a, a focus on you. So like, am I supposed to try and do stars and stuff? Cause that might I mean that could that could work. Oh, what if I wait? If you're on, right? Pop that to protect yourself, right? Uh, let's go. Sure. Let's just start with this. Okay, we'll save till we have a lot of stars, I guess. Okay. I did that super wrong. I should have attacked with uh, with C, huh? Well, that's fine. We'll see here. Okay. Six turns left. Okay, now it's Sieg's turn. Okay, let's go... One, two, three. Okay, because he's the one that's meant to be attacking. Okay. Alright, we probably just have to break his gauge once. Crit up, debuff. Okay, so now... Archer, defense down, attack up, target focus. Okay, so now you're the one who's on. Okay. Um, does this give you stars? It does. We'll give you stars. Okay, and let's go one, two, three. Okay. Hopefully I didn't screw up by doing the first turn there wrong. Alright, and then... Oh, I wish that hit there. Wish we hit the crit on that one. We'll save Seek's meter for when he's ready for that. Okay. Um, great. Not the best hand for us, huh? Let's just go one, two, three. Best we can do. Okay. We should have saved Guts for Hokusai on the next turn, huh? Oh, she still has it. Okay. Saber, then you're going to be up. Wait. She so start drop rate? Okay, well, hopefully you go for him. Or for her, rather. Increase NP gauge. I might just go all in here. Right? Okay, let's go. One, two, three. All right, try our best. Do as much as we can. Okay. 
please go for her so you can hit guts. Oh, we might just win this right here. This is 200%, right? I think he counts as a dragon. He doesn't. A big defense down. Oh, so close. Okay, well, as long as the other party survives, hit her. We're good. Okay. Uh oh. Wait. Uh oh. Okay, so yeah, we, we just did the first turn very wrong. Okay. And hold off till the very end for, for that. Okay. I see. That is an interesting battle. Yeah, huh. It's... It's literally like a... And it is a little RNG. Just a smidge, right? Uh, let's see here. What are some other ones that I could use, perhaps? I mean, having being able to defend is super useful. Uh, being able to get rid of his... Is that just a decrease their charge? That could be huge. Evade? One time, three turns. Being able to hit an evade would be useful, too. Stun is nice. Escape pod. Huh. That's just the regular one there, right? We just do maybe... Cause this is his one turn period, right? I might just stick with the the default, cause then we could maybe do one full turn of evade, and that can save us at the end. Okay, we'll give that a try. This is a slightly more interesting one. I didn't think there'd be one that's actually such a puzzle. All right, so let's see here. So we got to make sure to basically attack with, yeah, Sieg first. Let you be hit. Oh man, I'm not getting great hands, huh? Okay, well, it's fine. We'll just try and focus on getting your normal phantasm right away. Okay. You'll get your stuff and then you'll hold on to that. Okay, that's fine. Let's go. Right, let's stop this. And this does uh, versus dragon for one turn. Let's hold on to that till we get our noble phantasm. Okay. Alright. And I definitely want to on the turn before uh, Hokusai gets it. We're going to want to try and get it. Oh, you're getting hurt a lot. Is that the switch? Okay, that's the switch. Good. Okay, so with Hokusai, yeah, we're going to want to get... That's good, actually. It's a good hand. Let's go with Game Stars... Okay, right? And I think I'm going to hold off on using your Noble Phantasm and focus instead on these stars, right? Because that's a good idea. Right? Because I'll give boosts there, so... And then just keep trying to get more stars with that. Yep. For crits. Big crit up. Okay. 200%. How much? 17 only? Dang, okay. Alright, so now... Let's go one, two, three. Okay. Two hundred percent damage. All right. Let's see here. Good crits. All right. I think we got it this time. Okay. Go with Saber, crit up, C Star gather up. Okay, so let's go. Because I'm worried more. I'm going to hold on to that. I'm going to pop this on you. Okay. Let's do this. Alright. This should do it this time. 
That one first turn was did us in. Hey, that last crit was what we needed. All right. I was gonna say, there's, there's no way you're gonna make me do a second phase with that. There's no way. All right. That was a, that was a neat one. I mean, I think story wise, not as great, but for gameplay, that was like a pretty solid one. We'll see. Maybe it'll wrap around. There you go. Not bad at all. If you continue training regularly, it'll only be a matter of time until you master the sword. <laughs> We're finally done. Ah, oh, damn, I'm all out of juice. Don't think I can take another step. I'd offer to carry you, but I'm afraid I hit my limit too. I'm sorry. Those are the happiest exhausted faces I've ever seen. All right. I suppose I'll have to carry you both myself then. You know, that was a lot of fun. Huh, that's not good. I shouldn't be thinking about having fun. Why not? There's nothing wrong with enjoying yourself. Who cares if the world's over? Who cares? It doesn't matter. It's fine. We can have fun. You don't think so? If you don't believe me, why don't you ask the person you trust more than anyone? She's been watching us this whole time, by the way. Huh. Oh my god, do they do they do they sleep in a room together? Do they do they live together? Oh, scandalous. Years are defined by fighting, by protecting the weak, by never smiling. That's why smiling would only weaken me. At least that's what I thought. I see. So that's what happened. What do you think of my weakness, my beloved? Oh, my dear Sigurd, you haven't grown weak at all. You're still as heroic as you were ever were. Just as you once learned how to smile kindly around me many years ago, you've now learned how to smile around many people. That's not a sign of weakness. It's a sign you've become more human, more like the person you were meant to be. And I think it's wonderful. I see. And I owe it all to you, my beloved Bernhild. If it had not been for the passion you inspired in me in life, or the loss I once grieved, I would surely not be standing here before you now. <laughs> you never fail to make my heart beat faster. <laughs> but that's just what I love about you, honey. <clears throat> that, uh, certainly took me by surprise. You're always throwing me for a loop. It's only fair that I return the favor now and then. Smooch. <laughs> <laughs> wait, oi! Ha oh, hey, wait, that's my name. Ha hey, Sigurd, we want to train some more. Oh, she was saying like, oi, right? Okay. Oh, I see. I get it. I, I just came up with a killer ultimate move, and I was hoping you'd let me try it on a... Uh I'm so sorry. We didn't mean to interrupt your alone time. Uh, see, oi? I told you we should have waited till morning. What? How was I supposed to know what you meant? So, uh, so, sorry, sorry for bothering you, Sigurd. Uh, uh, I'll come back tomorrow. Don't be silly, Hokusai. This is a new ultimate move we're talking about, right? I'd love to see what you came up with. Beloved, would you mind lending them a hand? Of course not, Sigurd. Actually, um, would you mind if one more person joined us? He's been telling us, quote, I still have no idea why little old me became a saber in the first place. So I decided to bring him along too. Who's this? Oh, oh, it's funny because because people ship them. Evening. <laughs> Sorry to spoil your date, but I can't wait to have more fun training with you. <laughs> of course, you're welcome to train with us. But whether you have fun or not is up to you. My swordsmanship class is 99% uncompromising. 1% kind understanding. Yikes! Well, I'll do my best to keep up! I completely forgot about Saber Astolfo. My inner feelings may no longer be like a fiercely burning fire. They may now be more merciful like the gentle rays of spring sunshine. 
But even so, I can still sense it clearly. Sigurd the hero, wait. Oh, this, this is, this is Burnhild, right. My inner feelings may no longer be like a fiercely burning fire that may be more merciful. I still sense it clearly, Sigurd the hero. Yes, of course I do. This power stored within me can reach explosive new heights thanks to its weight. What? No, is he talking to himself? I don't know. Anyways. His power stored within me can reach explosive new heights thanks to its entanglements, its relationships with those around me. We're waiting for you, Sigurd. Right. And I suppose we'd better get started. I think that is him speaking. So they both have a fire within themselves. One more metaphorical... One more literal, I guess. I start by taking a single step forward as I answer their call. Formless and weightless though it may be, there is still energy to be found there. A kind with a name all its own. We call it... Love. Oh. Well, there's that for the Sieg and Astolfo shippers. Which, honestly, I'm gonna be real. I get more than the Jean and Sieg shippers by a lot. That's, like, that makes more sense. Anyways, uh, before and after the dream, I've been teaching classes on Napoleon, so I'm really excited for this one. We're going right in. Oh, yeah, got him. Guess that takes care of my side of things. All right. Any of you guys needing cover fire, just say the word. <laughs> Me needing cover fire? That's the best joke I've heard all day. Rash is in a lot of these, I feel. I've got things handled just fine on my end. Of course, I can't speak for Professor Lightning over. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Great. Then let's see what you've got. In my light, right, whoa, in my right hand, I wield sine wave alternating current. In my left, square wave alternating current. And from my forehead, I can send out pulse wave alternating current. Their powers combined surpass even Thor's hammer, Mjolnir itself. Behold! Lightning and thunder descend, all things bow before me. So, we know Thor exists. Not just because of the Pantheon, but, like, there is a Mjolnir, not a Mjolnir, but a Magni servant in one of the spinoffs, right? Oh, right, there's a whole, I forgot there's a whole light novel about uh, the Norse gods and stuff. Wonder when that's going to get translated. Probably in the future. I think only one volume's out, so it's not a big deal. But I'm curious about that. Enemy data has vanished. That concludes this training session. Great work, everyone. Da Vinci's thrilled at having so much cannon, arrow, lightning, and ice combat data to pour over. Who's ice? Who's ice? Which one is ice? Huh. Thanks for keeping an eye on the data, Mash. Of course. I'm happy I can be of assistance. We won. Victory is ours. <laughs> you know, I may have once said I had no need for magical energy from the Age of Gods, but it seems I now owe you an apology for that statement, my fair lady. I mean, your magic is going to be Scotty, right? Your elegant guidance helps my lightning to crackle with more power than ever. With this, there is no enemy in the world who can stand before my might. Well, that may be something of an exaggeration, but I assure you, I do not exaggerate in the slightest when I say that your technique is a sight to behold. We may come from very different times and civilizations, but I still hold you in the highest respect, your majesty. Yep, that's the ice. Uh, is that so? I mean, <clears throat> I have no need for your flattery, Nikola Tesla. Indeed, you should not be so quick to praise anyone so highly. You are an acclaimed scholar and pioneer of the stars, are you not? Then it is your nature to carve a path towards the future and to uncover the secrets of mystics such as myself. Go ahead and break as much as you like. 
Do not worry about sparing my feelings. <laughs> Hear that, Professor Lightning? You wound me, your majesty. I assure you, when I say I hold you in the highest respect, I mean every word. Do you now? Very well. Then tell me, what do you make of divine spirits as a whole? Ah, uh, yes, well, that is a different story. I have a great many doubts about the very system encompassing divine spirits. Divine spirits are said to have come from the gods themselves, but they no longer have any control over nature. Indeed, unlike any age of gods, even the tiniest exertion of their authority nowadays is said to cause them to become a divided spirit and disappear. But if you ask me, I don't see why they should have any authority at all since the gods handed over control of this world to humanity long ago. <laughs> That's quite the impassioned argument, Nikola Tesla. I can tell you've thought a lot about this subject. But how about we leave it at that and pick this up again some other time? I'm sure the goddess was exhausted after fighting all day, even if it was only training. It might be way more advanced than Maitre's, but all that enhancement, er, en all that magecraft enhancement still got a wear on her. Maitre. Masters! Oh, I was like, wait, hold up, right. Hmm. You make a good point. I apologize for getting carried away. <laughs> way to defuse the situation, Emperor! What can I say? We gunners excel at backing others up. Gotta admit, though, I get why Tesla be f all fired up. That goddess's magecraft really is a sight to behold. In fact, let me tell you to your face, Skahawk Scotty, you're really something else. Huh? But, very well. That is all for today's training, yes? Then I think I will go on ahead. Until next time. <laughs> Guess you're the one who got shot down this time. Yes, so. Fortunately, it seems the goddess of Scandinavia is just as formidable as old General Winter, albeit in a different way. You okay, Napoleon? You're kind of freezing up there, buddy. Huh? <laughs> Not quite. I might have to ask something, uh, ask for some of your time later, Maitre. I mean, that's all I have, really. It's time. Oh! Hi, Uncle. Uncle? Sure. Good day, Uncle Napoleon. Are you all done playing with Master in the Simulator? Oh, you're everyone's uncle. Oh, that sounds like fun. We wish we could have played too. I'll say. No fair, I'm jealous. Alright, enough with the poking. I was just training with some of my fellow archers. And Scotty. Oh, the goddess from Scandinavia was there, too. I don't know if she's a divine spirit or a real god or what, but she sure knows how to fight. Neat. Skahak Skadi is the goddess of snow and the king of a vanished lost belt. Do you ever consider all those dead people? What? Nursery rhyme? Nothing. Both her magical energy and her magecraft are really extraordinary, aren't they? Oh, good day, your majesty. We were just talking about you. Huh? Well now, if it isn't the heroic spirits of humanity who look like children. Look like children? For the sake of everything involved, they are. I know you're excited to play, but you really mustn't run and shout in the halls. Well, if it isn't the goddess of Scandinavia, can't say it's been a particularly long time. Indeed. Well, good day. Huh? Well, she's clearly avoiding you. Did you do or say something inappropriate? Inappropriate? <laughs> Who, me? Nah, I'm sure I haven't done anything like that and might have upset her. Although she did seem to be avoiding me, didn't she? Definitely. 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 <laughs> you all think so too, huh? Is it like guilt over the lost belt or something? Is that what we're going to get to? Hey, there you are. You're just the goddess I've been looking for. Whoa, buddy! Yo, I gotta write that one down. Oh, hello. So, hey, I've been doing my best to be sensitive and careful and stuff, but... Maybe I still did or said something that upset you? Something inappropriate? Anyway, I figured whatever it was, you might not want to talk about it in front of the kids, so I figured this would be a better time for you to speak your mind. It is 
Nothing. You did nothing wrong whatsoever, Emperor Bonaparte. Nor is there any need for you to worry about me or to spare my feelings. All you need to do is live your life as you see fit. That being said... Yeah? No. Never mind, there is nothing more to discuss. Good day, Emperor Bonaparte. Huh. So the goddess ain't talking, huh? <laughs> Looks like this is going to be a difficult campaign. But before I commence the operation, I'd better make sure I'm ready for anything. Uh, he's a tactician, that's his whole thing. Is this literally just a metaphor for him fighting against the Russian winters and having his whole army perish? Because, you know, he's not, he wasn't ready for the winter. Is that just going to be what it is? Anyway, door's open. I have an open door policy. Just come on in. You're going to need to come in anyways. Hey there, maître. I wanted to talk to you about... <laughs> Actually, looks like you've already got a pretty good idea. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, she hasn't been quite herself, has she? You know it. At first, I thought I'd done something here to upset her. But looks like that's not the case. So I figure that just leaves one other possibility. Uh-huh. I know there's a report and video and stuff. Holmes pulled me aside and told me about it right after I got summoned. I take it it's all true, then? Uh, yeah, this isn't the first time we've all met. That's what I heard. Of course, I don't know any of the details since I never took a look at the report of the video myself. Think that makes me a cold-hearted bastard, Maître? Uh, no? I don't think there's a reason you'd have to. Thanks, I appreciate that. Alright, I should probably just tell you what I've been thinking already. First off, let's make sure we're all on the same page. The rogue spirits don't retain any memories or records of their past summons. They basically show up fresh each time. They might have extremely similar personalities to other incarnations, but they're still different people. Of course, like any rule, there are some exceptions. A few heroic spirits have been known to keep their memories between summons, whether they want to or not. Sometimes it subjects a debate. Don't worry about it. But I'm not one of them. Me? I'm the sort of heroic spirit who puts his heart and soul into each individual materialization. I show up as a ray of pure possibility and throw myself at the problem at hand with everything I've got. As a result, I always end up literally burning myself out before I even get to the point of inscribing my accomplishments on the throne. I keep going till I don't have anything left. That's just the kind of guy I am. Which is why I'm not usually in the habit of picking up things off where I left off. Uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is, well... As far as you're concerned, what happened in Scandinavia stays in Scandinavia? Right. But that only applies as long as I'm the only one affected. Oh, and that's not the case this time. Exactly, Maître. Exactly. I consider myself here. I consider myself here and myself in Scandinavia to be completely different people. So I wasn't originally planning to ask what the other me did there. But if that means never knowing why Skahak Scotty always looks so sad whenever she sees me, <laughs> then to hell with it. I see now that I should have just assumed my other self did everything he could there and left it at that. Wait, I missed that. I never should have just assumed. So on that note, I'm here to ask you for a favor, Maître. Tell me what happened to the Scandinavian Lost Belt. Tell me what it is you saw there. Tell me what it is I did there, please. I need to know. I know you're a busy guy and I'm sorry to impose, but I'm still asking you to set that aside this evening. Or set aside this evening, rather. Words. In exchange, I promise I'll make it worth your while. I swear on my honor as Napoleon Bonaparte. No, wait. I swear on the rainbow emblazoned across the sky. Do, do you mind if I bring in Mash for this? She's better with, with the talking and the details than uh than, than me. Go for it. Having two people recount what they saw ought to give me an even more complete picture. Are we actually just going to redo fights or something? That'd be crazy. But then again, we saw what happened with uh, our Juno Alter there. Uh-huh. Ophelia, huh? Oh, wow, you're right. You wouldn't even remember her. Weird. I was sure I don't carry over any memories from one summon to the next. 
But there's something about that name that just tugs at my heart. Ophelia. What a beautiful name. I bet it suited her perfectly. I hope I'm not insulting both her and Josephine when I say that both their names inspire similar feelings in me. I... I don't think it's insulting at all. Thank you, mademoiselle. Ophelia. I see. So I risked my life to save hers. You okay, bucko? Oh, sure, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. All that aside, <laughs> I had no idea you two were already soldiers in my Grand Armée. You're saying I even re rewarded you medals? Damn, you two must have really impressed me. Yeah, now I see it. I'm sorry, What? what is it you see, Napoleon? Yeah, I can see it clear as day. Now I know exactly what it is I need to shoot down. Turns out there was something I had to do here all along. Private Tanner, I need your help. Consider this an order from your commanding officer. Okay, what are we doing? We're going into battle against what? Uh, oh, we didn't even have a battle. I just, yeah, there was no battles. I just realized that. Whoa, that's a lot of things. That's a lot of things. What are we doing? Watch your step, you two. I like marching through the woods at night as much as the next guy, but there's no denying it majorly slows you down. Then again, it's probably no big deal for you, huh? I'm guessing a goddess like yourself can just take to the skies if the walking gets too tough. Huh. Well, my honorable Grand Armee might not be able to fly, but we can still get around on land just fine. In fact, it's all about the ground game for us. The more land we cover on foot, the more light we bring to every corner of the continent. Master, I'm aware that the simulator is capable of, well, simulating any number of situations, but what situation would possibly call for only two servants? It almost seems as though there's nothing strange about it. We're just simulating a scenario where we've reduced, uh, suffered some losses and have to make do with reduced numbers. Goddess, I was speaking to Master just now, not you. Oh, right. Sorry about that. The situation is I felt like training to pull you together. That's all. That's all. Is that true? Something wrong? <laughs> you sound awfully suspicious. I... And you're right to be. Sorry for tricking you. <laughs> Whoa! I would have been fine talking to you. I called you a base, but... You would have just kept running away, wouldn't you? You... Do you mean to tell me that you dragged Master into this just so you could talk to me? Damn straight I did. No way a conversation like this is happening without Maitre around. Frankly, Skahawk Scotty, former king of the Scandinavian Lost Belt, I think we're overdue for a real heart-to-heart. -heart. I don't know all that much about you, but it looks like you can't say the same about me. So tell me, what was I like when you met me before? I'm guessing I probably wasn't the shy and retiring type, was I? No, you were not. Indeed, you were much the same as you are now, artillery man. Artillery man! Ha <laughs> ha, so that's your nickname for me, huh? Gotta say, fits like a glove. It fits, because he was the general of the, uh, the artillery at one point. That's true. I taught that today. Surely you jest. Nope, I'm dead serious. See? Huh? Sorry, Senpai, I made sure to turn off enemy encounters before you went in. But then one of Da Vinci's automated scripts turned them back on. If that wasn't bad enough, this unusual situation ended up setting the difficulty level to ultra hard. You're about to encounter some powerful enemies. Oh la la. D'accord. Alright. I know this is short notice, but would you mind helping a little old French artilleryman out? Very well, but you shall owe me one for this. Mais oui, mademoiselle. Alright, shall we? Grand Armée, move out. Is is fate French the only cool French? It kind of feels that way. Oh, thank God it lets us use other servants and stuff. Oh, I'm so worried, actually. Anyways, best thing to do, actually, would be... 
So you're, it says you're down, but you can actually help out a lot with that. Uh, help them out. Let's go with this. I don't actually need to use you. So that's useful. Uh, and then I do see that. Yeah, you know what? Let's you know, yeah, let's 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 go thematic. Why not? Let's do it. Sure. Be a little silly. Go a little thematic. Who else was in this lost belt? Valkyries. Sure. Where are you? I nearly clicked on you. That's close, but not exactly. Uh, right there. Just go. Forget, I forget what type you are, but we'll, we'll do this there. And uh, last, we'll go. I know which one we'll do. Where you at? Where you at? All right, and you can get a blue. Sure. All right. Cool. 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 Uh, yeah. Sure, let's go. Okay. Yeah, teaching the French Revolution right now. Boy, you get a lot of those fate names real fast. I literally had sense on and wow, we're doing ghouls? Okay. But like in a single class, it'll be like, you know, sense on and, you know, Charlotte Corday and. You know, uh, all of them, just uh, surprisingly all of them. I wouldn't have expected to just be saying all these names, you know? And I'm doing Columbus with the grade tens. So I'm just like, dang, all these, all these little servants. All right, so here we go. That's done. And good stuff. I do see we have some certain attacks here. I should look what those those are there. Frenzy cry, curse. What did you do to us? Oh right, the strength of versus human. That's just all it is. Uh, one, two. I don't know if that counts for you or not. Okay. I don't want to worry about your meter for anything but. Uh, like, I want to just have your meter there be gotten up by just combat there. Let's go one, two, three. All right. And this should kill. Yes, it did. Hooray. What do we got now? Oh, wow. You weren't kidding, huh? Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, uh, and human attribute, NP gauge with Buster, see Star Gathery, sure, we'll do these, why not? Okay, and this, is this on everyone? Yes, okay. Uh, is this on, nope. Okay, let's go, this should kill these guys, this guy I'm a bit more worried about, but... We'll see here with all these these boosts. Alright. How much? Ooh, yeah, okay. Ooh, that still did a lot. Okay. Ow. All right, uh, let's go. I do have like a full combo with you, actually. Okay. You got two attack ups on, anyways. Oh yeah, big crit. Come on, big crit. Ah. Nearly did it. Okay. She's out. Okay. Not the best, but it's fine. Scotty's in. Now let's just, you know what? Let's go. We should have enough. He'll do a bit. And then she'll finish. Yep. Good stuff. 
Okay. What do we got for the final opponent here? Really? Okay. Huh. Surprising enemy encounter for sure. Uh, I think yours is like 50%, right? It's close, not exactly. Um, I think I'd rather do... Because yours is heavy damage to all... Uh, all divine? That might actually do a lot with you. Sure, we'll do that. Right, uh, we'll do... Pop this on you just to stay alive. Okay, let's go. Your gate of sky does extra what? Um, damage cut up. Ah, uh, we'll do that. And then we'll do that to get your meter, hopefully, for your super. Let's see here. How we doing? What we doing? How much damage? Solid, solid. I say is it's actually not solid whatsoever. What the frick? We might have to wait for our. Uh, we might have to wait for our, our, uh, our, our, our little partner character to come out. We might have to try and wait for, uh, what's her face? Not Ilya. Oh, well, no, we're doing okay. It's just that the noble phantasms did not do a lot. All right. You have a full combo at least. Right, we can go one, two, three. Okay. Give that a go. Skill seals nice. Okay. Solid, actually, super solid. That's fine. We're I'm trying to get someone who has type weakness stuff. Valkyrie is not that, but Valkyrie, you know what? It's could be fun to play around with, right? Do some crazy stuff. Uh are you green? You are green. I forgot what type you are. Um that going. Just go one, two, three. Get some stars. Okay. Absorb 2E. Okay, that's fine. Uh-huh. Wish I had more there to pop that. Uh, I'm gonna just hold off on that. Let's just go one, two, three. Scotty, though, we can do her super next turn to, or to her skill to give Valkyrie full meter. At least we can do that. Okay, so now, pop this, absorb, pop that, pop that, pop this, pop this, and let's go. That wasn't enough, because it's because you're not level 10. Right, never mind, frick. Oh, well, we might be slight. well, we'll do that next turn then. Here I was like, we're fine, but I forgot that it's not 100% at all. For some reason I thought that was like a hundred percent. Air raid. Well, you're done. Be cool if you just blew up, actually. Hey, you got yours. Okay, there we go. Seat Nye, that's your name. You're not gonna get a chance to do stuff. Okay, there we go. That took a little bit longer than I would have liked, but we do it. Well, apparently, it's been a while since I've used this. There we go. 
次の命令をくださいマスター Good stuff All right connecting why Hey Bon Fi very cool I'll take that Okay, so let's finish this off with Before and After the Dream. Cannons fire! I forgot about the Lost Belt Seeds. What are those? All enemy data has vanished and no reinforcements are forthcoming. That should be all of them. That was supposed to be ultra hard? <laughs> Piece of cake. Damn, my body feels so light. So this is what it's like to be protected by the Norse Allfather's runes. It's impressive stuff. Really? Odin must have loved you a whole lot to entrust you with this much power, Skahawk Scotty. No wonder you were known as the Bride of the Gods. I bet Odin wasn't the only one seeking your hand by any means. I'm guessing Thor and Bragi might have been in the running too. I'll forget the gods. I wouldn't be surprised even the giants had thrown their hats in the rings, and you know those are some freaking huge hats. Doesn't matter now. They're all gone. Or they are gone now. They are all gone. So cease this meaningless diatribe at once. Meaningless? You think so? Well, it might not mean much to you coming from a human, but I've never been shy with compliments when I think they're richly deserved. Stop it. I'm not kidding, you know. I really do think you're beautiful and formidable. I still remember from my emperor days when... Uh, that I still remember from my emperor days that a good ruler ought to be graceful, powerful, and feared, and that's you to a T. I've never felt more reassured than I have knowing you're fighting by my side. Stop it. And besides, stop it. That is enough. Shut your cursed mouth already. What can you possibly hope to gain by flattering me, artilleryman? Must I remind you that you are already married? Not to mention... Ophelia. Yeah, that's right. I make it a point to love one and only one person every time I materialize. I still have made up my mind who it's going to be this time around, but... Ophelia, you said? Yeah. I hear that's the name of the woman I chose in the Scandinavian Lost Belt. She was a good woman, wasn't she? I've never seen her myself, of course. But if I chose her, there's no way she could be anything else. Ah. So how about it? Can you tell me what Ophelia was like? I do not know. I bet she was totally worth, worth risking my life for, wasn't she? I do not know. I do not... I died in that lost spell, right? Something tells me I was pretty satisfied with the way I went out. I do not know. How many times must I tell you? I do not know one single solitary thing about you. So stop asking me. Stop. Just stop talking to me. There is nothing I wish to discuss with you. Nothing. Oh la la. You're a couple of big fellows, aren't you? Did Skahawk Scotty just summon a bunch of Yotun giants? Yes, Senpai, I'm monitoring the situation as well. No question. Those things crawling out of the ground are definitely Yotnar. I suspect Skahawk Scotty must have forced the North Giants to manifest. The clock tower has no record of a successful giant summoning, so I believe she must be using some sort of technique from the Age of Gods. Damn, you're just breaking rules left, right, and center, aren't you? I do not wish to kill you, so I will not take your life. However, I have had enough of your ins ridiculous, incessant prattling. Napoleon, battle formation. D'accord, maître. Don't worry, I made this bed myself, so you can be damn sure I'm gonna lie in it. Yo, he put on his stupid hat. All right then, let's do this emperor style. You need the you need the big dumb purple coat. That's all you need now. Anyways, let's see here. Uh, okay, so we got sabers, and we well we're good with him. And then yeah, let's get a good rider. You could be really good actually. 
Let's go. You know what? Let's go with you. I mean, as fun as it was to do that sort of, you know, setup, I'm going to rather just go with stronger ones. Um, let's go. Let's go with a bizarre car. Sure. Pop that. You. Napoleon. And I'm going to grab, you know what, another archer just in case. Uh, probably single target. Let's go, yeah, with you. And let's go with this on you. And we'll go with another one for that. So we'll go with Ryder and we'll go with, uh, sure. And then in the back we'll go with, uh, last one standing. We'll just go with, uh, uh, why not? Big, big, big number, go big. Big numby, go big. All right, let's do this thing. I just picked incredulously random servants because who's gonna stop me who's gonna stop me i'm still gonna win it's still gonna be fine watch this be like a, one of those secretly like super difficult battles entirely possible let's see here okay her and some yotan okay oh she has 30 of them never mind this actually might be a little bit of a problem uh, let's just start with doing this here. Get you some, some attack and some meter. Okay. Alright. Ice pillar alarm. That's not something to worry about. Ow, that is a bit. Are you going to specifically go for him over and over? That'd be kind of funny. Do you have enough? No. Uh, if I do that, we do have a full combo with you. So sure, why not? Okay. Uh, let's get going with this. And this is... Guts, Sea Star. I'm not too worried about that. So let's just start with one, two, three. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen him do this with the hat. Yeah. It looks better from the front. I get why it's turned in this way, in this costume, right? When he's standing out there, I get it. But it does look better from the front. It's meant to be like at a little angle, right? All right. Lots of stars. Ow. All right. Can we get a full Morgan combo? We cannot. That's fine. Let's pop that and let's go one, two, three. All right. Ice Queen versus Ice Queen, you know? Okay, and then... Big damage with this. Nice. Yeah, I hit him. Not her. Okay, more of these. Don't we'll have to fight all 30. Uh, let's go... Okay. Let's go one, two, three. This might do it if it crits. So close. Nice. All right, uh, and let's just finish this. I mean, we gotta finish it the way we gotta finish it. All right. Wait, battle not over? Wait, what? Are you serious? 
Wait, wait, we're actually doing all 30? Oh, no. Actually, wait, hold up. Okay, this actually might be a bit of a problem then. Let's go one, two... Wait, let's go one, two... Okay. Did not think that'd be what we're doing. Good news is we got that tight matchup. Maybe it'll be only a certain number? I don't think it'll be all 30. It might be. Did that not even kill them all? Oh, shoot. This actually might suck. No, it's not going to be doing all 30, is it? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It might be. Oh, my God. Wait, it might actually be. No way. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to pop this on... Uh, you. And that'll go next turn with you. You're going to die, though. So pop this for everyone. Let's go. One, two, three. Okay. Try and get Noble Phantasm with you. Okay. Yeah, you're dead. That's what I expected. Okay, we got a thing with you. They're not super strong, so that's the good thing. The bad thing is it's going to be kind of annoying to do this over and over. Uh, okay. Charisma. And let's go one, two, three. Right? So that might kill the back, the, the back in uh, middle there. Let's see. Oh, we're absolutely doing it all. Oh, never mind. Thank God. Whew. Okay. I was like, this is going to be so boring. This is going to be the worst. Thank God it's not the case. You see, this went from a good one to a terrible one. All right, Rainbow, you're up. Show them the possibilities that lay ahead. Stretch as far as the eye can see. Arc de Triomphe de l'Etoile! Rainbow Arch of Triumph. Had enough now, Skyhawk Scotty? Those giants were manifestations of your anger, right? I don't blame you. You have every right to be angry. I know it pushed you to open up even though you didn't want to, and I am sorry about that. So go ahead and call as many giants as you want. Hit me all you like. That'll make you feel better. I'll happily shut up and take it. You can punch me too if you want. I do not know. I do not know what it is I should do. You are right, Napoleon, but only about half of it. I am angry that much is true. I detest myself for being unable to do anything in my confusion. I do not, however, hold you ought to account for that. Even so, that is only half of what occupies my mind. The dead can never return to life. A few of us may be lucky enough to be granted temporary retreat from Caldeus temp uh, from by way of Caldeus summoning system, but that is not true resurrection. The fact is, I am still very much dead. As are you, Napoleon. I understand that intellectually, and yet I still have memories. As a ghost liner, I remember everything that happened to the Scotty that died in the Scandinavian Lost Belt. Everything. And so, I am at a loss as to how to handle those feelings. For the thought that fills my other half of my mind is a desire for things to have gone differently. Whenever I look at you, I... I find myself wishing that Ophelia were here instead of me. I'm reminded of her every single time I see your face or hear your voice. No. There's not a day that goes by when I do not think of her. Dang, really? Oh, dang, we're doing, like, flashbacks and everything. You wish to talk to me about the artilleryman. Napoleon, that is. Yes, that's right. 
I know you do not care for him much now, but he seems like a good and dependable man to me. As you are human and he a heroic spirit, I am sure you move at different speeds. But even he will grow tired and move on if you continue to play hard to get, you know. I'd prefer it that way, really. Huh, you're no fun. Your Majesty! Forgive me. It was not my intention to tease. But you are my beloved child, Aphelion, so I want you to be happy. Eventually, it'll be time for you to choose a husband. Not today, but in time. That day will come once my Scandinavia has been defeated the other Lost Belts and regained its future. Right. <sighs> if only we were not on opposing sides. If I had summoned that artillery man as my own subordinate, perhaps then you'd be more receptive to his, his advances. Ophelia? Uh, I'm fine. It's just, I never considered what it might be like if he had been summoned to our side. I'm not sure how I should respond to him if that were the case. There. Now that is what I was hoping to see. <laughs> I see. Then I shall see if, uh, I shall see, I shall have to see if I can make that happen. Then once the artilleryman gets here, I come in and this is what I hear you talking about. What a joke. Next time he shows his face here, I'll chop him in half on the spot. End of story. Sigurd! How dare you show yourself before Her Majesty without announcing your presence? <laughs> Listen, you two. What if, just for the sake of argument, the artilleryman were to join the ranks of my castle? Come on, Skahak, Scotty. There's no point in talking about that. We both know it could never happen. Oh, don't be ridiculous. What do you have to lose by entertaining a simple hypothetical? Why, one could argue that my very lost belt itself is nothing if not hypothetical given form. But... Hypothetically, I'd chop him in half on the spot. Sigurd! <laughs> Remember, we are speaking in hypotheticals. There's no need to think too hard about it. Oh, what a delightful thought experiment. Hi. I know you are not the same artilleryman that I knew in Scandinavia, but... I still find myself wishing for an opportunity to speak to you, Napoleon. I cannot help but think about what it would be like if Ophelia were here. If she were to see all the many heroic spirits enjoying each other's company in Caldia's cafeteria, she would lay eyes on the place like this deep within the forest she knows so well. What would she say? What sort of expression would she wear? Would she ever smile again? Like she once did. And not just Ophelia. I find myself thinking of my other beloved children as well. The humans who lived out their short lives in my Scandinavia, 10,000 per generation. The Valkyries who served under me, believing me to be the Allfather's successor. The giants who lost everything they had to the masks they were forced to wear. How would they react if they were to see a world unburdened by endless ice and snow? Those are the sorts of things I find myself thinking about whenever I see your face. And above all, I loathe myself for thinking about them when I know all too well that such a thing can never be. Okay, let's talk. Go on, don't hold back. It's okay to share what's on your mind. Know why? I swear to God if he says because I'm here. Because I'm here. Oh, it's Kino. Oh, it's epic. Oh, dang. And Maitre is here. And Mademoiselle Kyrie like too. Sure as crazy as things get for us. We may not often have time for this sort of thing. But we do. Right now. There's nothing wrong with talking about how we're feeling. Or mourning what we've lost. I might have been the Emperor of France, but I know I have my share of regrets. Goddess or not, can't imagine it's any different for you. What I'm trying to say, Skahak Scotty, is that no one's going to blame you for acting more human. There's nothing wrong with reminiscing sometimes. I agree with that. In fact, I've actually been wanting to ask about Ophelia for a long, long time. I see. Yes, you may be right. It need not be every day, but if I may truly be permitted to occasionally reflect on those days, then yes, I would like to talk about them. 
I would like to mourn their loss. And above all, I would like someone else to remember my children as well. <laughs> you got it. Then in that case, you will be joining me for a little nostalgia trip immediately, Emperor. I will tell you all about the things you know, things you do not know, and things from my past I know all too well. I will tell you about my daughter, whose eyes sparkled as beautifully as any gem. I will tell you all about my beloved children from Scandinavia. But be warned, it will not be a brief affair. Oh jeez, it was all night. Oh, is it morning already? I must have talked through the whole night. I'm sorry, Master. No worries, I'll do this again sometime. Preferably not through the night. I'm falling asleep. Yes, I'd like that. Just don't forget to invite me the next time you take a walk down memory lane. I'd like to be there too if you don't mind. Of course. In fact, I would not take no for an answer if you two wish to decline. So, Master, if it's all right with you... I would also like to invite the Valkyries to join us the next time we get together. And then again, though these Valkyries are heroic sp or spirits of proper human history, perhaps that would only be an imposition. Who knows? But I can tell you now, there's only one way to find out. Besides, I can't say for sure, but I get the feeling they're dying to talk with you. That'd be wonderful. I hope you are right. Hey, Napoleon. Yeah? You're a good man. <laughs> well, of course I am. Who do you think I am anyway? Just ignore the fact that I literally talked about it in class, how he's a divisive figure, that many people disagree with whether he was a good or bad man, right? Some of his some of his ideas, maybe uh, not the best. Putting aside what I may or may not have done when I was still alive. Okay, never mind, we're fine. As a heroic spirit, I just can't leave a crying maiden to fend for herself. I like they threw that line in to be like, yeah, let's ignore some of the bad stuff and just focus on the now. Who said anything about crying? I've not shed so much as a tear. I, I mean it all right. Don't you dare get the wrong impression. <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I feel like it wasn't, it's interesting, this one was less about Napoleon and more about Scotty, but the thing is, that wasn't like a positive thing, whereas I kind of felt it was a positive thing that Bernhild's was more about Santa Altera than Scotty, or, or, than about Bernhild. Um, yeah, it's okay, that's fine. Okay, so we're going to do next time Beyond the Century of Endless Flame and Ice, and depending on how long things go, because I feel like it's actually going to take a bit for this one, uh, we'll see. I might do the Valkyrie one as well. We'll see. It just depends on length. The Valkyrie one, it only shows it as one, but I feel like it's going to be battling a bunch of Valkyries or something, uh, which might also take a little bit. Anyways, I will see you guys next time for some more. Let's play Fate Grand Order. We'll see you then for that, guys. Ciao. Yo. Yeah.